Did you know that Wi-Fi signal strength plays a direct role on internet speed for your home's connected devices? Knowing what impacts your Wi-Fi connectivity and what steps you can take to strengthen the coverage in your home will dramatically improve your internet experience. First, let's meet your equipment. The Wi-Fi Gateway is a device that allows your home's devices to safely access the internet. Next, let's look at the equipment you have which physically connects our network to your home. Our two primary types of network access are fiber optic and copper, commonly known as DSL. If you are on our fiber network, you have an ONT. This stands for Optical Network Terminal and is what connects our fiber network cables to the wiring inside your home, giving your Wi-Fi gateway the ability to provide internet and Wi-Fi. An ONT can be located outside near a fuse box or inside near your router. If you are on our DSL network, you have an NID. This stands for Network Interface Device and is what connects our network cables to the wiring inside your home. An NID is usually located outside near a fuse box. Now let's talk about the devices you use on our network. Internet-capable devices, of course, include computers, smartphones, tablets, gaming systems, and smart TVs. But don't forget the other connected devices quietly running throughout your house, like home security systems, home assistants, Wi-Fi-enabled appliances, smart doorbells, wireless speakers, and more. For optimal Wi-Fi coverage and strength, ensure your gateway is placed in a central area of your home, elevated off the floor, and in an upright position and in an open place free of obstructions or objects that are likely to block or interfere with your Wi-Fi signal. Other factors that can impact Wi-Fi signal strength are the number of devices connected to your network, the age and technology limitations of connected devices, interference from nearby networks like your neighbors, and the distance between your device and the Wi-Fi gateway. The further apart they are, the slower the connection. Here's what to do if your Wi-Fi isn't performing as expected. Check the location of your Wi-Fi gateway to ensure it is centrally located and free of obstructions. The GoKinetic app puts control in your hands. In the Wi-Fi management section of GoKinetic, you can see which devices are connected to your home's Wi-Fi and how much data is being used. Manage devices by pausing the connection to free up bandwidth. Easily reset your Wi-Fi gateway and utilize our self-service troubleshooting tools for fast support with Kinetic Digital Assistant or live chat. Here's how to give your Wi-Fi speed a boost. Consult your device's user guide to see its capabilities. If your home has multiple stories or three or more bedrooms, consider adding a Kinetic Wi-Fi extender to enhance the connectivity throughout your home. To prevent signal interference, multiple extenders should not be directly on top of each other on each floor. If you have non-Kinetic Wi-Fi extenders installed, especially one located next to your Kinetic Wi-Fi gateway, we suggest checking the extender's user manual for further placement and troubleshooting tips. Are you working remotely and connected to your company's VPN? Many times, the VPN itself is the culprit and slows down the connection. Try disconnecting your VPN to see if there is an improvement. If you're still having trouble with your Wi-Fi connection or internet speed, please log in to your GoKinetic app and connect with our support team.